These slides were done by our software engineer on the Excel API side, Suri Sun, although she could not make it today, so I'll be presenting on her behalf. So one of the themes of Excel 1.15 is this idea of bidirectional discovery. So we're adding more APIs to enable your add-ins to discover the source of data. So we see like in pivot table, you can get where the data generating that pivot table is coming from and what type of thing, whether it's a range or table or what have you. Um, we're also expanding the work that was done with range to add in the Git dependence API. So now from a single cell, you can see what other cells it affects. And so this is all really building out those scenarios around you know, transferring data from you know web service and getting it back into the source of the workbook uh, and back and forth there. Uh, we also have a couple more APIs around shape and table. Um, these are based on customer requests. Uh, remember, uh, we have our M365 developer suggestions, which I think was linked earlier, but we will have links to later in the presentation uh, where you can request features. We do look at that to help prioritize new additions to the API surface. So how do you use these new APIs while they're in preview? First, you need to change your CDN reference from 1.1 to beta. So this will get you the new stuff. Uh, and then if you want IntelliSense, uh, reference the at types at office-js-preview. And this screenshot is from Script Lab, so you can use these today in Script Lab and test that out there. Just doing a little bit of a deeper dive into these uh, dimension data source APIs or data source APIs. There's a set of two. There's the get the string and get the type, and this will let you get the address or table name or uh, other label of the data source as well as the type, so your adding can act appropriately. So for the chart series here, you can get see if it's a local range or a list and then act accordingly based on that information. We have some sample code here. If you're unable to type this very fast, uh, we will be posting these slides afterwards in the blog summary. Um, we'll also be adding script lab samples for all this stuff over the coming weeks. So please let us know if there are particular scenarios you're curious about or challenges you have while testing these out yourself. We're also adding pivot table data source APIs, very similar to the chart series, uh, string and the type so you can figure out if that pivot table is generated from a table or a range and see that address of it, address or table name, and again, act accordingly. And some source code there. We're gonna do a little demo of these APIs prepared by uh, Sri. Now, uh, I'm gonna play a video on the next slide. So there's a little music, uh, make sure your speakers are adjusted accordingly. Again, if you are unable to see the video, we'll be posting all this later, so don't fret too much. All right, with that, let's, play this little demo. And that is the update on Excel 1.15.